Hello. In this video, we're going to look into Doom Eternal starting in the wrong monitor. I have two discrete graphics cards in my computer. I have a Vega 56 that I use to game and that is connected to my main display. And I have a GTX 950 that is connected to the rest of my displays. The reason why this is, is because I have multiple monitors and the Vega just ran out of slots. I also am working on PCIe pass-through and that requires you to have two graphics cards. So in any case, in this situation, for some reason, the Vulkan API has decided that the GTX 950 is the GPU 0, as in the primary GPU and the Vega is given the GPU-1 designation. If I remove or disable the GTX 950, the Vega is then upgraded to the GPU-0 and the game would start normally. But this is a sub-optimal way of fixing this, because it can actually be fixed without that. If we start Doom Eternal now, we'll see that it starts the wrong GPU. And as we can see, the game is using the GeForce GTX 950 instead of the Vega 56. Now, to see what's happening, we can go to the console and we can type the R underscore physical device index and it will give us the default values that it has. In our case, it's minus one. And not entirely sure why it's minus one, but that defaults to GPU zero. But we can change this. It cannot be changed from in-game. However, you can change it out of game. We'll just stop to eternal. And we'll right click to the terminal, go to properties. And in properties, we can see set launch options and we'll just copy paste our code there and the plus com skippable videos one means that we're going to skip the intro stuff which means that if your computer is faster than the intro videos are long the game starts faster and then we'll add the plus underscore physical devices index one which changes your gpu to the gpu one if you have more than two GPUs, more than likely you just select the correct GPU. You'll probably have to download the Vulkan API SDK to be able to see which GPU is which. You might be able to find it uh, other ways, but in, in any case, it's not in the scope of this video. Um, you'll just have to put in the correct GPU into this number. And once you have that, you just press OK. And then you close this and you start the game again. And when you've disabled the intros, you'll just get a black screen instead of the intro stuff. And as we can see, the game is now running in the correct GPU. It took a while to find these answers because not many people have these problems. And most of the people that I found we're having this problem in a laptop. But in any case, this should probably work for you even if you're using a laptop. But in any case, that's all. I hope this helps and thank you for watching.